Hi everyone, this is Amanda. This is my channel, Amanda Random, and I have a awesome haul for you guys today. I'm talking like craft supply nation. Like so many new products to show you that the Dollar Tree is offering. So many things you can use for journals and art books and anything you can think of. This Dollar Tree haul is going to have what you're looking for. So please stay tuned. All right, you guys, I want to start off with this. These were like everyone was out there trying to find these things. And they're little tiny accessory cases or caboodles, as I would call them from back in my day. Um, this is a Greenbrier International product. And there are just so many things, you guys, that you can do with these. Like, seriously, they have this cute little attachment and they're just open little containers but they're nice and deep so you can put washi in these you can turn them into so many different little things you could keep art supplies um one of them that i might use this for is to just keep like cut out stickers in and then you can take them with you on the go and they're pretty small so i mean they're really really cute i cannot believe how many different colors they had and it took me forever to find these all right, so moving on then from that, I'm just going to grab a pile, and it's kind of going to be mismatched, you guys, but I have bags of stuff to go through with all of you, so this could be a long one, so get ready. Get ready. That's all I can say. So another product I love from the Dollar Tree are their little journal books. If you guys do anything with, hmm, what do you want to call them, like your traveler's notebooks and things like that? These journals work amazing for things like that. They have so many different ones that you can use and change out and throw into a traveler's journal or notebook or just keep them for your purse or things like that. So the first one right here is a four and a half inch by six and a half inch and it's 50 sheets and it just says shine bright. I don't know if you guys can see the color but there's glitter all under here and it is amazing. I'm not sure if turning my flash on is going to help or not, but it's just a really cute lined notebook as you can see. So that's what this one looks like. And then um, from the same company here, it is a taco with glitter. How cute are these notebooks, you guys? I'm in love. And then we have the No Drama for this Llama right here notebook. Again, same company. And this one, I don't know, I'm in love with this one. And the color, um, something that I also like doing for a little DIY out there for you guys. If you don't mind buying these and wrecking them, you can cut these top parts off. And just keep the notebook for paper or junk journaling or things like that. But I love using these and making like little dashboards for your journals or your planners or traveler's notebooks, whatever you want to call them. Um, you can cut this top part out and washi it like into a journal for a little flap. You could decorate the inside cover then. So just another cute idea for things that you can do with these because the options are just endless when it comes to this stuff. The next thing I have, um, I also purchased these for that intent again. Um, I'm probably going to cut this top part off and use this for my journal and just make it into a little like flap. But it is really cool and you can see it's kind of mirrored and it just says live inspired. So this is just a jot notebook with 50 sheets. It is a 5 by 7 So I also picked that up. And then I love this one. I love the colors and it just says you are worth it. And again, this is just from Jot. So I got two of those. <sighs> the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you guys, when it comes to creative coloring books and things like that, oh my God, you cannot go wrong with the Dollar Tree. Um, I did pick up the Coloring the 80s. You guys, there's so many pictures in here. I'm an 80s baby right here, 1982. We got boom boxes, mixed cassette tapes, just like all these funky little designs, some arcade machines. Okay, like how cool is this notebook? Again, you can color these pages and use them in your journals. You can, you know, 
put them in your lockers, whatever you might want to do. And then this one is an Animal World book. And look at some of the images in here. How cute are these? Again, you could color something like this and then fussy cut it out and use it in an art journal or an art book or anything that you can think of. So these are always good to get from the Dollar Tree because they're only a buck a piece. All right. So now I have a stack of, and I'm pretty sure there might be some more over in the bags, but we're going through what I have first. So um, I'll grab these out, bring them over here. The Dollar Tree also, if you are planner lovers, the Dollar Tree offers these and they are amazing, you guys. I love these. These are the Let's Planner sticker-like collections. So this one you can see has 349 pieces in this for your planner. And this one has 369 pieces. Like, you can't go wrong with these, you guys. A buck a piece, and I'll flip it over and show you. This is what they have on the back. So this is what it all offers, each little page inside. And you got all these adorable little stickers, and we'll open it up and I'll just kind of show you too. So now, do you have to use these strictly for your planners? Absolutely not. You can put these anywhere your little heart desires. And there's just so many cute little stickers in these for a buck. You can go to Michael's and try to find these, and you're going to pay way, way more for these. So again... Definitely worth the dollar at the Dollar Tree. If you like stickers or journals or anything like that, these are definitely a score. So here is the back of this one. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to shake here, you guys. I might have a little caffeine in me. So let's just pretend that I'm holding this really super steady and that it's working, okay? Okay, so moving on, we have this crafter square brand again is blowing up the dollar tree you guys and i mean like blowing up the dollar tree so many products from crafter square so these are paper craft and this is a 13 piece sticker and if you can see these are like the puffy raised stickers i don't know if i'm showing that very well but look at these you guys you could make so many really cute pieces of like ephemera or tags or you know so many cool things you can use for these or you can simply just stick them where you want so I loved this whole set because you know we do have February upon us real soon here and another thing the Dollar Tree is now offering is these rub on transfers from Crafter Square. So it shows you right here on the back basically how you can use this. Um, you just cut out what you want uh, and then you take it and you put it in your journal and you just push over it. I usually use like a popsicle stick and you can just transfer it by rubbing it into your journal. So I did pick up this one as the rub-on transfers. Um, I know I got some more in here somewhere. And then there is this one. Let's try not to blare you with the glare. But these are really cool too. Awesome to use like on your pictures and things like that when you enter them into your journal. And I just, I love these. They have them now. I'm so excited. And then there's this one. And there's a lot of words. And it's kind of got that vintage -y feel to it for this one. And then there's also, speaking of vintage, check this one out. You guys, you can make so many cool, cool things with these. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try them. I'm going to lay them all out here so you can get a good view of them. Let me see if I can zoom out here again one time. But now I didn't even pick up all of them either. So this is just the four that I did grab. So yeah, there are all kinds. And when I left my Dollar Tree, they were putting out even more of those. So huh, huh, I'm loving the Dollar Tree craft section. That's all I can say. So also, from the Crafter Square brand, I just got some alphabet stickers because who doesn't love alphabet stickers? These look so cute in your journal pages or art journal pages, Fomenichis, dollar, whatever you can think of. Any little planner 
you know, I don't need to tell you what all of these uses are for. I'm sure that you guys have your own ideas, but there's just so many. So I also picked this one up. Can you see the color on this? Like, can you see that? How cool. And then, of course, this one reminds me of like a little tie-dyed, like watercolor vibe. So I picked this one up as well. And then these right here are novelty stickers. So these are always fun. Um, they're kind of like the, I didn't get fired or I did just okay. I didn't quit. I took my vitamins. I cooked dinner. Didn't look at my phone today. Um, this one too says like, I only had five cups today. Taco day, every day. They're just really super cute, cute stickers that I don't think that you can go wrong with these stickers either because for a buck a piece, I'm telling you, they're worth it. So let's move some of these. I have so much stuff to show you guys. It is unreal. Speaking of washi, as I said before, of some of those things that you could do, the Dollar Tree is always there surprising me with their different washies. Okay, so first, these are also all of that Crafter Square brand. Like I said, they're bringing it. They're bringing it. I'm just telling you. So this one says, kiss me. And can you see? It's just really cute. So I picked that one up. And then we have this one with the little sea otters and turtles and sharks. And then the little kitty cat sitting. Can you see that on the moon? Like how adorable are these washies? So I got that one. And then shark attack. Okay, we got a shark attack washi. I'm in love with this one. I've never seen this one before. Um, actually, these, I believe, oh, look at this one. The little pug and the balloons and the air balloons. So these, this is the only one that I have purchased before. These were all new ones to me, anyway, that I picked up this time around. Okay, so the next thing I found were these. So now, again, like I said, I'm... I'm basing music on all of my products in my journals and art books and things like that. So when I seen these right up by the checkout, I knew I had to grab them because they're a 50 count. I believe each one was 50. Yes. Okay. So they're called lunch notes, but look at how cute they are. They say like, stay sharp, bring on the happy, have a dynamite day, see you after school mom. So that's the back. Now, can you use these for other things? Yes, I'm not going to use these to put notes in my kids' lunches. They'd probably be really upset with me considering my oldest, well, my middle child that's still in school is a freshman this year and my daughter is a fifth grader. So the thing about these though, you are one in a million, melon. Like, look at these. You can turn these into little flaps. You can use these in your journals. There are so many different things that you can do with these and reach for the stars make a little tip in with some washi and flip it over and put a picture on the back. Like, you guys, those are not the only ones in here. Like, all of these are different. Do you see this? They're all different. Okay, so I'm super duper, like, in love with these and I'm so glad I picked them up because I was going to be happy with them even if there were only, like, those couple on the box. And now that I know, like, this whole box is filled with different ones, I'm so excited to check these out make today great create magic seize the day oh so the back doesn't already have the message on it you can write your own message which makes it obviously like I said even cooler there's this one and obviously if we open them up I'm gonna assume these are all going to be different as well let me zoom out here okay these are super cute you guys there's so many different ones, but I love these colors and like the unicorn like scheme. These are going to work great for little journaling cards. Super, super happy. Excuse me if you can hear the naughty husky in the background. Okay, so also Crafter Square. I just feel like I need to keep pointing this out. Everything is really true to this Crafter Square brand, you guys. I found these magic adhesive dots. So these are easy to apply in their superior bonding strength. These work great for any of your kids' crafts, um, for school, at home, in your journals, 
and they just literally help stick things in. So if you have little pictures that you want to stick in, or maybe even stick one on the back of this and stick it into your journal, this works amazing. And then this I have not used personally, but I just seen it put out, so I'm going to try it. It is just... For fabrics, ensure the fabric is pre-washed. So you can use this even on fabrics, you guys. But this is just a craft glue, and it's clear. So it dries nice and clear. I'm just telling you, look at this stuff. Just even this stuff. So many different things you could already be doing with all of this stuff from the Dollar Tree. If you guys are true Amanda Random fans here, you know that this is one of my favorite places in the Dollar Tree. I love, 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 love using all of these Main Street wall creations or just the jumbo wall art decals. And I use them in my journals. You can use these for so many different things. You can make your own planner out of like a binder or something like that. There's just so many different uses. So. I did pick this one up that says be you tiffle this one I had to purchase for my daughter I'm pretty sure I got two I did because she needed this one as it says sassy since birth mm-hmm yeah and then this one let the dreams come true again they're just this really metallic -y looking and I I can't get enough of them like I just I seriously can't so then I also found these, which I thought were awesome. Check these out. So if you ever see all these people with their little Instagrams and taking all these cool pictures, this one you can make and do at home. You can put these wings out there, make your own little background, and then take pictures in front of it. So that is the front and the back. And just like this cutie patootie up here, you could take some really adorable pictures. So many uses for these. Also, you can cut them out and use them in your journals because that's something, you know, that I also do. Um, and then, apparently I've got three of those. I didn't know I had three. And then, oh, I know why. I bought one for my, my little niece. So then there is this one, and you can see on the wall what this is looking like. If it will focus. No, it doesn't want to because I'm zoomed way out. Maybe now it will. There we go. And these, again, it just says mermaid at heart. This would be something cute to either put maybe in your bathroom or your kid's bathroom or just on your kid's walls or anything like that. And then I had to go ahead and pick up a SpongeBob one because who doesn't love SpongeBob? Actually, there's probably a lot of people that don't love SpongeBob, but still. I happen to like SpongeBob and my nephew, I know, would love to put one of those in his room. Okay, so another thing that I love using in my journals are the St. Patrick's Day, or just window clings, not just the St. Patrick's Day ones, but the window clings, you guys, they work so well in your journals and things like that. So you can use them and stick them to your windows and things like that, and then when they're done, you can use them. You can either glue them in your journals or art pieces or you can use a tiny little stapler and then use them as little flaps in your journals. I do this all the time so I did pick this one up right here and then this one as well. So love using those for my journals as well. Okay Another thing that is just blowing my mind is the Dollar Tree's new yarns and things like that. So this is the Premier Just Yarn called Flowers. And it is 111 yards. So you don't get them much in here. But you guys, I really wish you could see this color. How cute, how pretty these are. And my daughter is also learning how to crochet and loving it. So this is perfect for the newcomer or someone that's seasoned with crocheting or things like that. And then check out what they're also offering you guys. I am so, so freaking amazed that you can get all of this at the Dollar Tree. Like, hello, who are you these days, Dollar Tree? So now, these are the plastic hooks. These are not the best, but these aluminum crochet hooks with the, like ergonomic handles that you can hold on to them really well, they're amazing, and they offer so many different sizes. 
They offer so many different sizes. You can go and pick what you need. So this right here is all for my daughter because like I said, she is turning into a little crochet fool. So I'm super excited that you can just run into your Dollar Tree and grab these. Obviously we also know besides crocheting, you can use these to tie around individual pages in your journals and make a really pretty like overhang over on like the crease or the spine of the book. So many different uses for art. Um, one of the other things from Crafters, Crafter Square is this brush cleaning pot. Oh, okay, yes, I need, I need. Um, basically, all it does is pop open. You can put your brushes in there, swirl them around, and they'll clean your brushes. It's just a really nice little container. And then, speaking of your brushes, once you're done cleaning them, this Crafter Squares Pencil and Brush Organizer is awesome. I was on the lookout for this forever. So there are 49 holes, and it keeps brushes and art tools organized, and it's ideal for artists and crafters. So as you can see in the picture here, they have all kinds of different things. I also thought about it, and I was like, you know what you could also do with this? Some of them aren't very big, like as in the areas for them, but you could also turn this into something really cool for like your makeup brushes or something like that, or maybe to even hold some of your eyeliners and eyebrow pencils. So many different things that you could most likely do with these. I know there's some crafty people out there, way more crafty than me, so I know y'all could figure out something. So, excuse the crinkle of the bag, but this is what we're doing. We're just going to dump this out because I am done messing with all of this and waiting to use it. So, it's time. We're just going to have some disarray going here and y'all are just going to have to go with it. Because if you're crafters, then y'all know we're not very cleansely, well, not cleansely, but we like our messes, okay? Sometimes you just got to you just got to go with it and deal with it. We're messy people sometimes. All right, where to start? Where to start? Let's move this down and we'll start with these. These are some of my favorite journaling pens. I doodle with these, I color with these. I love the way they write. They are from Pentel and you guys, the color is bright. It's amazing and do you see this? This is the quick dry no smear. These work amazing, you guys. I cannot stress this enough. Bright blue, bright purple, and bright pink. If you're looking for some nice pens for journals and things like that, definitely get you some of these because they work amazing. Um, somewhere else here, I know I have more, but am I going to find them? I don't know. Um, I do have some of these, and these are these washable and these are the felt tip pens from the Dollar Tree, you guys. Felt tip pens. Can you see that right there? And they are, believe it or not, they're Crayola. So I cannot wait to use these. They say that they have vibrant colors. They are washable. No streaking here. This is a family-friendly place. <laughs> I see what you did there, Crayola. I see what you did. So I'm really super excited about using these. I'm not sure if I have some more in this bag over here or not, but at least you've seen these. Another product I was super excited about using were these, um, the glass pen and ink. So can you see like the little swirl down here on the end? You dip that into the ink and then it runs out and you can write and you're using these glass pens. Thank you, Jot. I actually opened one and they work, okay? Like, they literally work. And, um, little warning, don't knock the ink over on your counters and stuff. It's not the easiest to clean up. So, do I recommend these, though? Yes, they are super fun. They're fun to play with and draw with. And they did come with different colors ink. So, like, this pink one did come with pink ink and the blue one did come with blue. Well, the tea da. All right. Also, Crafter Square. Check these out. You guys, these are paint pens. Like, I'm talking paint pens. You can use these for so many different things. They are ideal for wood, plastic, metal, glass. They're also non toxic. And these are all broad lined markers. These work great in your art books, in your journals. 
If you have something you want to use like a bright color marker over to pop or if you've already painted a background, you can use these over top of it and they work amazing. So again, super happy about those. And of course, I did have another one of these felt tip ones. So here are those because, you know, I knew I had more somewhere and these are the really cool pink and red. I'm gonna run out of room. I'm gonna run out of room. Okay, this is a four color stylus pen. It is red, black, blue, and green. It gives you all the little options. Here's the little stylus end. And here's where the ink comes out. I will admit, for whatever reason, I love the way these write at the Dollar Tree. I don't know why. They're a Greenbrier International product, but I love them. I use it all the time. I've probably gone through like two or three of these. And for some reason, I just, I like using them. So I bought another one. Um, then for my daughter, because you know, who doesn't need cutesy stuff on your art desks and journaling desks to get you inspired? This is a pom-pom pen, and it just reminds me of, like, something from the movie The Lorax or something. I don't know, but I had to pick that up. We also have some highlighters here from Jot and some double-end markers. Um, hello, okay. These, look at the colors of these. These are, like, a pastel and they're a chisel tip. And then these right here, we got the fine line and the brush tip. Like, hello, you guys. If you are looking for these kinds of products, but you don't want to pay that kind of money, go check out your Dollar Tree. Like, I just, I can't say it enough. All right, now some random stuff. Because, you know, that's what we like here, some randomness. Um, these jumbo playing cards from Classic Games are literally just what they say, but my ideal to do with these is, if you guys out there like making tags or ephemeral pieces for your journals and things like that, now obviously this is a jumbo, jumbo size, but you could turn this into anything. Use your little hole punch, punch a hole in it, paint it, decorate it, use your ink sprays, use anything you can think of, and glue stuff to it, you know, like collage all over them. Just make some interesting little journal pieces that you could either tuck into like a little flap in your journal so that you could pull it out. You could put a spot on the back so that you could like write on them still as journal pieces. But again, so many uses that you can do with these things, so many. Also, I love these for my kids. These are, and I quote, pre-sharpened number two pencils, and they have really cool multicolored erasers, and you always need some pencils in the house. So, check these out. They work really, really well. I do recommend them. From Jot, I had to pick me up some more of their glue sticks. Usually, I can find them where they have eight in here for a dollar. I could not this time around, so I did pick this one up. It only has four, but again, super duper great buy. Um, these are some pom-pom magnets. Now, are these for journaling? No, not necessarily. They're magnets, and I just want to stick them on my fridge and see some pom-pom fuzzy fuzzies, okay? Like, it makes me happy. Let's not judge here. So, could you do something crafty with these and not use them for their normal purpose? Well, of course you could, but we're not going to get into that right now because they're solely just going on my fridge so I can look at them. Oh, my good Lord, you guys. Look at how much more we have to go. Okay, so... I laid it out here. There's not as much as I thought that we have left to do, but clearly there's still enough. So, the next thing I wanted to show you, I was, again, super stoked to find at a Dollar Tree. Could not believe it. Were these craft decor brands, and these are chalk writers, you guys. So, this is a wet, erasable, mess, and dust free. So, so many uses. Great for chalkboards, dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirrors, ceramics, and metals. So many things you can do with these, and they're not a million dollars each. They were a dollar. Where? At the Dollar Tree. All right, so, again, look at these. I just want to hold them up so you can really see how cute these look. Show you the back, all the different things you can use, and, like, I think this one probably is my favorite, but check this bright color out. So, 
I did pick these up because who wouldn't? These would be great for so many different art projects. And then from Ink, these are erasable highlighters. Okay, you guys, these, are you seeing this? Erasable highlighters from Ink. Erasable, okay? Erasable ink in vibrant colors and they're highlighters. So this is a pink and green and then we also got the bright yellow and purple. Worth the buck, I can guarantee it without even using them. I love this brand from the Dollar Tree. These ink, some of these ink pens are like my absolute favorites to use from the Dollar Tree. And then speaking of the same brand, we have some three ballpoint pens and these are in black ink. And then we also have the three highlighters that match the theme and assorted ink colors. Check those out though. How cute is that? Like perfect for your teenage daughter or younger middle school grade daughter, whomever, and they write really nice. And then there you go. Talk about aesthetically pleasing. You got the highlighters that match. Like, come on. Dollar Tree is just, it blows me away. All right, so these are just the Extreme Smooth Gel Pens and ergonomic triangular bodies for relaxed writing in a medium point. And it is quick dry gel. So you can see these colors and then you can see these colors. Super happy about that. So I did pick these up because these were new. There, maybe that's a little better to kind of see these colors. And then we have also from Crafter Square, we have these different tie-dyed eight-piece kits. So do you see the, like the little powder in here and everything? And down here it gives you the rubber bands and like the little um, cover. It says, should we look at the back together? One no mess squeeze bottle, two protective gloves, and five rubber bands to make the most vibrant on fibers such as 100% cotton, rayon, and silk. And it gives you, like, add the water, apply the dye, wrap plastic, let set for six to eight hours, and then you rinse. It gives you all of the instructions. So we got a yellow and a red, and I believe somewhere else I have some of the other colors. Um, my daughter's been, like, getting into tie-dyeing stuff, so that is definitely something we're going to be doing together, is doing some tie-dyed projects. And some more random stuff. Now, I... Love that the Dollar Tree has so many different genres, I guess you want to say. Do you want art? Do you want... Do you want art? <laughs> do you want to do yarn art? Do you want to do stickers and painting and markers, pens, chalk, highlighters, paints, tie-dyed? It's just like it covers every end of the spectrum at the Dollar Tree now. So from Crafter Square, this is an embossing stylus. So here's the end, here's the other end. So I personally have a Big Shot machine and you can emboss and do some stuff with that. And I also love that you can use these as like little score utensils or whatever. So I did buy the embossing stylus. And then check this out. This is six assorted blades in here and it is a Scraptility knife set. So you can use these to fussy cut out things if you want to use your, um, you know, like basically an X-Acto blade, I guess we can call it. And then this is a piercing and scoring tool set right here and it is fine and medium point needles. So there's the needles where you could poke through paper if you want to make um, like some signatures for a book that you're making at home or your own type of like a junk journal or things like that. And you can also use these ends to score the paper. So another awesome find. And then you guys, these, these are craft clamps. I use these for everything. So when you're working in your journal and your book doesn't want to stay, we'll use this as a thing. So you have your book opening and you see how the pages just never want to stay. You can clip one of those to the end over here and then one to the end over on this side over here and it'll keep your book open for you. And I love doing that when I'm painting and doing things like that or working in my art journals. So these have so many different uses. 
so many different uses, but that is most likely what I'm going to personally be using them for because, like I said, you guys, there's just so many things you can do with these. So many things. Since I grabbed the book, we're going to show you two books that I found as well because that's another Dollar Tree area that you could go and you could find a book maybe like this with some imagery in it and you could cut these out if you felt like wrecking the book. Um, you could use all these images in art pages. You can find images everywhere. You could harvest images from magazines, all kinds of things like that. So you could also turn this into an altered book yourself where you just come in here now and start painting around this, adding different things over here, put down some gesso maybe, create little areas to write, and turn this into your own altered book. So... Again, though, this one is called Beloved Dog from Maria, Maria, I'm not even sure, Coleman, maybe, we don't know, but anyway, it shows her here on the back, and it shows that normally in the U.S., this is $18.24 in Canada, so I just picked this up literally because I love the imagery, and I knew that I could cut some of it out or use it as an altered book. Um, this one right here is actually something I picked up for my daughter. This is a Lauren Miracle TTYL. So it's basically through texts and messages, three best friends share the highs and lows of high school. And it literally is written in this form. So again, after my daughter reads it or she starts it and is like, this is dumb, I don't like it. Rip these pages out. Use them for collage. Um... Put some paint on them. Use them for just, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. Speaking of paint, Crafter Square, we picked up these watercolors right here. Amazing. Look at these. I cannot wait to use some of these products. I'm like getting winded here. Like there is a sea of creativity before me and it's just getting me so jonesed. Like I just want to quit making this video and go play with all my journals. Um, so this, you guys, is a paper pack from Crafters Square. Again, look at all the different sizes, different kinds of paper in general. You can use these to paint on. You can use your punch tools and punch things out. You can use your big shot machines if you have them or make little stencils. Use them to rip up and make different ephemera pieces. My insulin pump is gonna beep. Welcome to Amanda Random's life. Um, so, so many different things and you guys can see there's 200 GMs in here of paper. Like this is heavy, there's a lot in here and I could not be more happy about finding this at the Dollar Tree. All right, you guys, I promise. Last two products. Here we go. Another one of the rub-ons that I did not find before, and now they're, well, they're somewhere over there. Um, but this one's really super cute. Look at all of these. Ah, so adorable. And then a nine-piece sticker set from Crafter Square. Check these out. Now, again, like, look at this really cool burnt orange colored paper. You could, like, tear that so it's got some rough, rugged edges. And then, because there's some orange that matches, you could put this on a piece of this paper, make a tag, make just some type of an embellishment, something to just fill up your journal pages or your art books or whatever it might be that you're, you're looking for. So, you guys, that is it. Some of my other stuff I'm going to leave for a different haul. Let me zoom out and show you this table. Like crafters, para, dice, you guys. Seriously, I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that I got to share all of these amazing finds with you. These are not something I just went and bought all at one sitting. I've been kind of grabbing things from different Dollar Trees as I went and just put it all together and I'm so happy that I finally get to share it all and now that means I get to use it all so I'm super excited. All right you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite things were that I found. There is honestly just so many for me that I don't even think I can pick just one thing. So, let me know what your favorite item was or if you're going to add something to your wish list because there's just so much stuff, you guys. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. We are always having some kind of random fun here or a random haul. And 
Go ahead and give this video a like if you will. We truly appreciate it. Come join our random family. And as always, guys, stay random. I'll see you guys again soon. It is time to go craft. Bye!